Hey, you guys, it's me, Kiana, coming at you today, and what I'm making today is um, a kind of twist on your traditional meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Now, as you all know, I like to try to give you guys recipes or meal ideas so that you, if you find yourself, while you're on the Atkins program, having a craving for something that maybe you used to eat before, or maybe you're cooking your regular um, meatloaf and mashed potato meal for your family, this is a great alternative to that for you that are on Atkins. And this would be also an option if you're on a low-calorie diet. So this is up to you guys as far as for me, as you all know, I'm just worrying about the Atkins part, and that's my focus. So um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to fix. I'm going to fix these. Um, turkey meatballs. I got them on sale for two dollars. They say three twenty nine, but they were t t um, they were two dollars, one ninety nine on sale. And you get twelve fully cooked meatballs. They are microwavable, um, so basically you'll just be heating them up. And what I did was I just bought a couple of boxes of these and put them in my freezer. So let's go over the carb intake for these turkey meatballs. If you were to eat these, which are fully cooked. It's six grams per three meatballs. So, say if you're going to eat uh, six meatballs, that's going to be 12 carb grams. Okay, now they say subtract one because of the fiber. So, let's say that's 10 for six meatballs. So, we've already reached six grams, I'm sorry, 10 grams for this meal so far. Okay, then we're going to make our mashed potatoes out of this cauliflower and what you're going to do is you're going to boil this to it's basically mush okay and then you're going to take a regular um, potato musher I got this one from the Dollar Tree and you're going to add these ingredients which are sour cream and butter not margarine butter and you can add a little bit of this uh, heavy whipped cream okay so um, the cauliflower uh, as per serving it's probably going to be about, mm, I would say about four. So we're up to 14 carbs right now, okay? The butter is zero, the sour cream is zero, and the heavy cream is zero. Now, if you want to, if you can afford it, meaning that if you can afford it, not financially, but actually afford to use gravy in your carb count, one serving of this gravy is four carbs. Okay, so we have 10, 4, and then 4, which are 18 carbs for this meal. That's not that bad, you guys. Now, it's not induction phase that friendly. Although you could have this one in induction phase, um, because what I did was, as you all know, when you're on an induction phase, which is the first two weeks of the Atkins diet, you are um, told to keep your carb level at 20 or under per day. Now, what I did was, yes, I kept my carb count at 20 and under, but I extended my induction phase beyond the two weeks so that I can really basically shock my system and jumpstart my weight loss extremely. So I extended my induction phase, but I, what I did was I gently um, and carefully incorporated a little extra carb um, by being able to be versatile with the things that I eat. Now... If what I would do is if I was going to eat this meal, I would make sure that my meal for the morning was almost carb free. It, example, if I knew I was going to eat this for dinner, I would make sure I had maybe some deviled eggs for lunch. And for breakfast, I probably would have had maybe uh, two or three sausage links and maybe um, two boiled eggs or two uh, scrambled eggs. Okay, so with that lunch and breakfast, my carb count is like literally about two or three for the combined breakfast and lunch. That's if I knew I was going to eat this in the evening. Okay, making my carb count still, if you did the math, around 20, maybe 21 top. Okay, so what I did was I made sure I counted my carbs to the point that I was smart about counting my carbs, meaning if I knew I was going to have something that had a lot of carbs in the evening, I made sure my breakfast and lunch um, was at a minimum as far as carb count and vice versa for if my breakfast or lunch had a lot of carbs, 
make sure that my evening meal was lower in carbs, almost, almost none, almost. So this is how I've learned to do this for my body, and this works well for me. This is also a way to be able to some days be able to eat certain things that you normally wouldn't eat, okay? So let's do um, the meatballs. We're just going to simply put them into a pot and put a little bit of water in there. Um, let them go ahead and heat all the way thoroughly through. The mock mashed potatoes, which are going to be out of your cauliflower, we're going to let that get literally overcooked. That way it's going to be much easier to mash. And by you adding the butter and sour cream, you guys, trust me, it will it will mimic the mashed potato uh, fat for you um, because we all um, mentally you know, always affiliate sour cream and butter with potatoes. So it's going to not only look similar to mashed potatoes, but it's a great substitute for you guys that cannot have potatoes, of course, on your Atkins diet. If you cannot use the extra carbs that are in the gravy, which is only four carbs per serving, if you cannot use that, what I recommend is to eat the meatballs and just dip them in a little bit of reduced sugar ketchup because that is only one carb. So you're saving maybe about three carbs. Again, it's not a lot of carbs you're saving, but if you're doing this all day long with making sure your carb count is always always accurate and at a minimum um, that's required, then trust me, it will work out and it'll be better for you in the long run. So this is going to mimic the taste if you have a craving for mashed potatoes and meatloaf. This is going to mimic that. Okay, it's not going to be exactly like it, of course, but it's going to mimic it, and that's what you want to do to stay on your diet. So, let's go ahead and boil this to mushy status, and then we're going to add the sour cream and butter and heavy cream. Then you're going to mush it extremely well, put it back on the heat for a few seconds, and then go ahead and serve. All right, you guys, I'll show you once it's all plated up. Just wanted to give you a heads up on what I'm fixing and give you, hopefully, an idea of what you two could get. And this meal is extremely economical as well. Be blessed.